All right, guys, we do have a special guest with us today from Amplify.io. His name is Omer. It's great to be with you. You have a new integration that can help Brilliant Directories websites. Actually, what I do want to mention is uh, Omer is one of the newer partners in the BD marketplace. Omer is the owner uh, and founder of Amplify, and he is part of the Brilliant Directories marketplace. And Thank what I'll do now... Actually. Co-founder, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> co-founder of Amplify. Here you go. Great. So, Jason, thank you for having me. Thank you for doing a morning webinar instead of your usual evening webinar so I can also participate. I'm going to um, spend the next 15 minutes or so explaining about AMP and how it can benefit your SEO and how you can use it in your BD site. So. As Jason said, my name is Omer. I am the CEO of Amplify, and I'm based in Israel, uh, hence my accent. In the coming 15 minutes, we're going to talk about Amplify very quickly. I'm going to explain what AMP is and how, how it can benefit your page speed and SEO. And then I'm going to show you a quick demo of how to use it in your BD site. And lastly, we'll uh, leave some time for questions if you'll have any. So quickly about Amplify, as the name suggests, Amplify is an AMP management platform. We're being used by websites in order to create and manage the AMP assets, which in turn are being used in order to improve web performance and especially, especially their SEO results. We've been around since 2019. We serve mostly content and news sites and many SMBs. Uh, we're based out of Tel Aviv, Israel, and our scale, actually, it's a bit outdated. It's a few millions of a managed AMP pages. AMP stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. It is a relatively new emerging type of web pages, which are built out of different building blocks, which make them extremely lightweight and fast loading. And AMP was launched by Google uh, which continues to push it. And Google also stands behind many of the benefits that AMP pages enjoy from, and that makes them very SEO optimized. And that's the main incentive which leads websites to support AMP. Out of the top 10,000 sites online, which are the bigger sites online, more than 20% already have AMP support. However, the adoption really drops as you move to smaller and smaller sites. And the reason is that AMP is extremely difficult and expensive to build and maintain. Fortunately, this is exactly what the integration that we now have with BD will enable you to do for your sites. So I'm going to run down a list of the benefits AMP brings to your site. But before uh, talking about each and every one of them, I want to show you uh, a comparison between um, an AMP page and the HTML version of that page. In this case, we're talking about a CNN article. CNN has AMP. And we're going to click to log into the page at the same time. And the AMP finished loading. Actually, the AMP finished loading before the HTML version had even drawn its first image. That is how fast AMP is. So. The benefits, are obviously, the first one is page acceleration. AMP draws its acceleration from two sources. The first is the fact that it is more lightweight and lightweight pages load faster. However, the bulk of the acceleration comes from the fact that AMP pages are being preloaded to the user's devices before they even click to open the link. So by the time the click actually takes place, the page loads near instantly. And that's something that really cannot be achieved by any other technology. And that's really part of the AMP benefit over the, the HTML, the traditional HTML. The second benefit is the saving of lost visitors. We all know how crucial it is for web pages to load fast, even emphasized, more emphasized when we are working in the mobile world. After just five seconds of loading time, you would lose 40% of your visitors. They would bounce out. Uh, one way to compensate for that would be to increase your marketing budget by 40%. Another 
easier way would be to have your site load faster. AMP can help you do that, and using AMP can help you save up to 70% of those bouncing visitors. The last benefit for many is the most beneficial benefit is the improvement of SEO. As I mentioned earlier, we live in a mobile world right now. And as of last year, Google itself have also introduced what's called Core Web Vitals, which is a set of parameters, KPIs, which are being measured by them to determine how mobile friendly a web page is. And today, if it is not very mobile friendly, it will literally be penalized in the SEO results. Luckily, both Core Web Vitals and AMP technologies launched by Google. And um, AMP was built to be Core Web Vitals optimized. And for that reason, AMP pages gain 30% 30, 30 more search traffic on average. And coupled together with the, with the bounce rate, with the improvement of the bounce rate, simply by adding AMP, you have the potential to increase traffic by anywhere from 40 to 70 percent of the number of engaged visitors actually yeah i just want to chime in on the on this slide so the last year we've at brilliant directories we've spent a lot of uh, effort uh, improving the page load times of uh, bd websites both for mobile and for desktop view and we can see actually that you know bounce rates are going down um, user interactivity is is increasing so I think AMP, but we're just serving HTML pages, as, as you mentioned, but we're, we're edging those as much as we can uh, to increase uh, the website speed. The one thing that stood out to me as the biggest benefit about having AMP pages is, here's, here's the trick, guys, is when somebody does a search in Google and gets to the search results pages in Google, Google is already preloading, as Omer mentioned, preloading the web page just for being on the Google search results page. So once you click on the, the page that you want to visit that's an AMP page, it's already loaded in your device. So it's virtually one second instant for the user. And I think that's how Google is rewarding people who have AMP pages set up. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, so even the fastest HTML page will have a very difficult time matching an AMP page simply because AMP had a head start. It was loaded before. Okay, so uh, moving on, I'm going to go over very quickly about how AMP comes into play in the user flow of when, when they come to visit your site. So when you add AMP support for a web page, that AMP page actually doesn't replace the HTML version of that page. It coexists alongside it. Whenever that page shows up in the search results, uh, it is the AMP version that shows up. And the reason is that at that moment, this page acts as a landing page. And we want it to be as optimized as possible, as fast as possible. And AMP takes that role. However, once the user has landed in the page and continues to navigate through your site, they will do so into your HTML pages. So you might say AMP has done its thing and now uh, we can move on to the other elements of this, the other parts of the site or the traditional parts of the site. Uh, and it's important to remember that because many times the AMP version will be a very lean version, or not a very lean, but rather lean version of your HTML page, which will have some elements stripped down. Uh, and you will need to keep that in mind that it's only in the, in the landing page in favor of it's showing so high in the search results. I hope it was clear this this last part. Yeah, I can yeah. clear. I can clarify just in case here. So, uh, when someone does a Google search and they click on the link to your website, the AMP page will be what they see first, the leaner, lighter, faster version of that single page. But once they continue clicking into other links on that page, they're going to be served the regular mobile-friendly web pages of your website, not uh, an AMP version of of those other pages. Yeah. <laughs> That's a better explanation than mine, yeah. So finally, after you've installed and you have your AMP pages live, what's next? How do you know it's working? So there are two approaches to measuring or seeing the AMP value. The first one is using your Google Search Console 
because Google now uh, presents or gives you a lot of many options in the search consoles in the search console to see the mobile friendliness or, or the page speed or the ranking of your site. And essentially, you need to look for as many pages as possible that are a core web vitals, uh, which are green, essentially, that have a high core web vitals score. All AMP pages have high core web vitals score. So once you add AMP, you've, you've checked this thing. And later, you'll start seeing the ranking go up. However, that does take time until results show up there. So the more immediate way for you to see the results and for your customers to see the results is just like the clip I showed you before, experiencing them firsthand, searching for your page on Google and seeing how fast it loads or using any of the available tools that Google or Amplify has, which uh, preview the results even before they go live. So that was just a quick explanation about how to see that it's working for us. I'm now going to show you quickly how you might use AMP in your own BD site. So the only thing that you need to remember here is how to get to the installation, because following the installation, we will send you exact instructions of what you need to do. But you need to start by searching for Brilliant Directories Amplify or going to the link that Jason would give you later. Um, and you would reach our site where you need to sign up. Once you sign up, we get back to you with an activation code. You need to take this activation code and paste it in the designated setting in your uh, BD dashboard. We'll also send you instructions about that. And once you have done that, your AMP is live. And that means that every member profile pages in your site will get an AMP version. And only so you understand how it looks, this is the traditional, the regular HTML version of a member profile pages. If I want to access the AMP version of that page, I need to add a short string here, which we'll share with you. By the way, you should see that I'm looking, at, that I'm currently in mobile view. And the reason is that AMP is only served for mobile visitors. It's not being served to desktop visitors. And what we're, look, what we're looking at here is the AMP version, which as you see, looks and behaves exactly the same, only that it will give you that the, the added kick in the SEO, the preloading, the faster experience. And that's what you need to see. And you need to look at, at those pages and see that, see that everything works and behaves as expected. And once you've done that, you can lay back and relax and wait a few days until you start seeing the results in your search console. The plans that we offer, uh, we offer three plans and they are based on the number of members you have in your site. Uh, we have basic to pro, uh, at $10, $25, $40 a month. We uh, tried to match the pricing or the initial pricing to the same pricing that you today pay for your own extensions in BD. Every plan has 30 days free trial, and it's not possible to take a plan and apply it on a bigger site. So if you have 5,000 members, all of them will get an AMP version. You can't take the basic plan and apply it on the site that's bigger than that. If you have more than 50,000 members following the sign up, we'll talk with you and see how to implement it. I have a couple of questions yes. about this. So first of all, what sites do and don't need AMP versions of their pages? Because you know there's there's a cost associated with it. What sites would benefit the most and what sites don't really need AMP versions of their pages? So if you rely heavily or rely at all on search traffic, AMP is very beneficial for you. If your site is mainly of managing communities where the traffic comes from groups, Facebook groups, Twitter, stuff that are not search, then AMP will not be as beneficial for you. Okay. And why is there a cost associated with having AMP pages? Obviously, Amplify.io is, is a business, but what, what what is the cost associated with it on your end 
for, for creating and supporting AMP pages? So AMP is essentially another site, and we are hosting that site on our servers. We constantly update it, we constantly serve it, and just like you pay a monthly fee for hosting, the same thing goes for AMP. Got it. I, I do have one more question as well for you. Uh, are there any types of BD sites that can't be improved by AMP? Um, I know right now you're starting with just amplifying the member profile pages. Um, are there any limitations or, or profile pages that wouldn't be benefit from AMP? Essentially, we create an AMP version for all mobile pages. However, if your profile member profile pages rely heavily, very extensively, on third-party components which are not AMP compliant and maybe they will lose all their usability without those third-party components, you might need to consider reconsider using AMP. Gotcha. So if there's like some heavy third-party like sidebar modules or things like that, if they're not necessary, you could strip them out of the AMP version of a page. Uh, but if they are necessary, you may not want to make those pages into AMP pages. Yeah, however, if you are a light user of third-party components, if you have a chat widget or something like that, which is not AMP compliant, but you're okay with it not showing up in this one page view that the user will have in favor of this page acting as a great landing page, then uh, AMP is a good fit for you. Did you want to share anything else, Omar? Only that if you have any questions in the future, if you want to ask anything, uh, you can reach out to us through the site or to me directly. It's Omer at Amplify.io. And thank you for your time. Fantastic. Thank you, Omer. Okay, so yeah, this is the page. What you can do if you're interested is just click on the sign up link. There's no payment right away. Uh, it just lets uh, Omer know and his team that you're interested in AMP pages and uh, they can follow up with you and let you know if your site is a good candidate. And again, it's mainly for sites that uh, heavily rely or want more traffic from Google search results. If you have a small community or niche where it's private or you only get members from social media or other avenues rather than Google uh, search results, then it's really probably you don't need this for uh, your site. Uh, so thank you, Omer.